Hokey dokey. Third example for this problem. I will not do this problem much faster because there's actually a twist with this version. If you get a version of this problem where the increase in t values is only 0.5 and it's not increasing by 1 like we saw it in the past couple problems, then here is what we'll need to do. So before we defined p prime or the rate of change of the function at say 1.5 as how much is p going to change by as t increases by 1, say from 1 to 2 or from 2 to 3. That's what p prime represented before, and it still does. However, we're given intervals of 0.5. So what we have to do is really it's like finding the slope between 1.5 and 2. And so we're still going to find the difference between the 58 value and the 76 value, but then we need to divide it by 2 minus 1.5. In other words, 0.5. And so um, we'll talk through that as I'm calculating it. So 58.0708 minus 76.0707. So that gives us the change in P if we were increasing by one whole T value, but we're only increasing by half a T value. So what we do is divide by one half and we get negative 35.9998 all right so that's how much we would actually increase if the t value was going up by a whole one which maybe we could see that from here to here ish you know about 35 so then we'll do the same thing for the p prime at 2 so we'll do the 44 value minus the 58 value but then we will divide it by the difference in t value so 0.5 so talking it through in my phone calculator we have 44.3301 minus 58.0708 and we divide that by 0.5 and we get negative 27.4814 so at this point that's the only difference in the processes. It's like finding the slope between two points when the difference in t values is something other than 1. In this case, it was 0.5. Now that we have the p prime values, the process will actually be the exact same. So let's pick up the pace for t at 1.5. And at t equals 2, we are calculating k using this equation. So plugging in the values, we have negative 35.9998 equals negative k times p at 1.5, so 76.0707. I'll go ahead and set up the 1 for t equals 2. We have negative 27.4814 equals negative k times 58.0708. And for each, again, we will divide by the negative 58 value and then on this side on the left side we'll do the negative 76 value go ahead and calculate each of them on the left side we have 35.9998 divided by 76.0707 and we get 0.4732 and again, the negative divided by negative cancels to become positive. On the right side, we have 27.4814 divided by 58.0708. And we get 0.4732. So these k values match, which means our k value is 0.47 and a is our answer. So this is kind of the route we have to take. If the t values are, um, if the t values have a difference other than one. Hope this helps. If you have any questions or if they throw you any other variations of this problem, please let me know, and I can help answer any questions you have.